for women. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. But the false foe is marching on. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. But the cause goes marching on. Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to our Women's Rights Rally. Yay! Yes. Well, the year is 1920, as you know, but women still do not have the right to vote. No. So this is why we need your help. We need suffrage, or the right to vote. And now that you are going to be part of our rally, you need to know our song. So we'll teach it to you. So I will say the words and you will respond. Rise up, women. Rise up, women. For the fight is hard and long. For the fight is hard and long. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. We sing that three times, and then we, uh, then we cheer, and you will be members. Are you ready? Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. Rise up, women, for the fight
club to try to impress upon the legislature of Minnesota when we were barely a state to add this to our constitution. She got close, but it didn't happen, and we have been fighting ever since. She would be amazed that we have thousands of women <clears throat> across Minnesota now in 1920 that are working to make this happen. As a matter of fact, Clara Euland organized a rally march that went down Hennepin Avenue in Minneapolis, and 2,000 women came and marched. Yay! Yay! Hear ye, hear ye! Can you imagine? That was a sight for sore eyes. I will never forget it. So I am proud today to introduce Clara Eulen herself, who is here. She is the Moses of the Minnesota Movement for Women's Rights. Yes, yes, Please yes, 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 yes. Gentlemen and ladies of Winona, this is a most important time in our state and our country. Our great-granddaughters will remember and cherish this time. We are so close to winning the right to vote. Yes, 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 yes. yes. We must not let this time slip away. I am Clara Euland. I've been president of the Minnesota Woman Suffrage Association since 1914. I came to Minnesota as a poor child of a widowed mother. Education has been my guiding light. Yes, yes. Here, here. My husband Andreas came alone and poor from Norway, and he settled in southeast Minnesota. Andreas has become a lawyer and he has often defended women who were on trial. After Andreas and I raised our children, I finally ventured outside the home to literary societies, where I learned about more equal ways for a society to exist. My first goal was to bring kindergartens to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and we succeeded. Bravo. Yay, yay, Bravo. Yay, Bravo. Next, I founded the Women's Club so that women would have a safe place to meet in public. Yes. yes. Excellent. Not long after that, my commitment to women's suffrage began. Mm -hmm. when, when I learned that Norway had passed full voting rights for women in 1913, I knew that my I would fight for full suffrage for women in Minnesota for as long as it took. Here, yes. here. Yes. You likely know that we have been fighting for the right to vote as full citizens mm -hmm. in this country for nearly 100 years. Oh, yes, oh. yes. We have encountered one obstacle after mm -hmm. another, but we still persist. Yes, yes. we persist. I wish I had a penny for every suffrage bill that we've introduced in St. Paul that has been defeated. Oh, no. Now, I think the tide is finally turning for our ship of equal rights, but we have not yet arrived at port. We live in uncertain times. War, influenza, social unrest. Our country continues to need our help. However, when we act as concerned citizens, we need to be treated as full citizens. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Here, here. And that means we absolutely must have the right to vote. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. Do you really think men are more intelligent than no. we are? No. Please join me in chanting, Votes for Women! 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 Thank you. Now, I'd like to introduce to you someone you may not have read about in the newspapers, Mrs. Nellie Griswold Francis. 
She has done powerful work in the black community of Rondo in St. Paul. Nellie Francis is a star in the suffrage movement, a flame burning with passion for equal rights for her sex as well as her race. Her guiding motive is to help her race, and it is so needed. Please welcome Nellie Griswold Francis. Yes, Nellie, welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Mrs. Eulen. I am Mrs. Nellie Griswold Francis. And yes, I started the Every Woman Suffrage Club of St. Paul. It is the only suffrage club for colored women in the state of Minnesota. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All, all women have an important work to do. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. The suffrage club has employed the arts as a means to reaching people, every people, with its message of equal rights for women and social justice for the entire the entire black race. Yes. I started the folk song coterie, Coder, and it has allowed our community to grow. I recommend employing the arts as part of our movement. Yes. yes. The civil rights has always been important to the black community. Why, we all know the great work that Frederick Douglass has done for black suffrage and for women's suffrage. Yes, yes. My yes. husband, Billy, you know him as William, and I formed the St. Paul branch of the NAACP. Right. Right. Yes. right. Next, I will speak with the Minnesota uh, law about lynching in Minnesota. Uh -huh. I'm sure you're aware of the horrific lynching of the black men in Duluth, Minnesota. No. This cannot happen again. No. No, no, no. no. I'm grateful to Mrs. Eulen for supporting our cause. Yes. The National Suffrage Women's Club wanted to cut out the colored woman's membership. Oh, Ms. No. Eulen flatly opposed. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Eulen. Yes. Thank you, Minnesota Association. Soon, I will go to my hometown, uh, my hometown of Tennessee, where I will encourage the legislature to ratify the 19th Amendment. Yes. 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 It looks promising. Oh, yes. Yay. We must all be in this struggle together. Yes. Here, here. Rich. White, poor, black, we are stronger together. Yes, we are. yes. I want to welcome Nanny Yeager. Thank you so much, Nellie. Your story is just a great inspiration for all of us. I have a tale about another ethnic group. Um, I was raised in a, born to a Swedish family in Red Wing. Um, as I got older, they sent me back to Sweden to study for five years. And when I returned, I was the first Scandinavian student to enter the University of Minnesota. Nice. Now, for the last five years, I have been the president of the Minnesota Scandinavian Suffrage Association. Before me, there was a Norwegian president by the name of Yenova Martin. But I want to tell you the story of how this interesting group started. Uh, Dr. Ethel Hurd looked around Minnesota and said, we are not getting enough members, and we are not getting enough of ethnic members from the new immigrants in our country. How do we do this? She looked at the German population, and they just were not interested. And she finally realized it was our partnership with the Minnesota or with the uh, National Women's Temperance Union, which wanted to prohibit alcohol. That that was what the German uh, community just could not agree with. 
Um, they are too associated with the beer gardens in their culture. So Dr. Hurd said to herself, what group would be willing to sub support the prohibition of alcohol as well as fight for women's voting rights? And she thought, aha, it's the Scandinavians, the Norwegians, the Swedes, the Danes. As a matter of fact, their countries have already passed women's suffrage. And so she began to organize. And she, the second thing she said that was very astute is she, this organization will be for immigrant women, women whose family are only first or second generation here in our state. They could be right off the boat, and they were fine, they were qualified. The third thing that she planned was there would be no membership fee. That was a big change. All of our other organization required somewhat large membership fees. There would be none. They would earn mo our, our money is earned in other ways with cultural events where we charge admission. This worked beautifully. We have Scandinavian women join, have been joining from all over our state of Minnesota. They could be servants, they could be hard scrabble farmers, they could be young uh, governesses, and they were joining and they have continued joining. So now that we have not only tens, but hundreds and thousands of Scandinavian women in our organization, and this has made all the difference. Wonderful. In yes. our, our yes. struggle in Minnesota. Yes, this has just changed everything. And now we have six different organizations from various communities that are part of our movement, and we have 30,000 members across our state. Here he from he Here he Just an amazing result and it has finally convinced our legislature to approve of the 19th Amendment. It has all paid off. We are so, what can we say? We are stronger together. As Nellie said, we are stronger together. I have a very good friend I'd like to introduce now. Uh, she is fierce and fearless in her support uh, for women's full citizenship. Uh, her name is Mrs. Emily Bright, and she has a new project that she's going to tell you about as well. Please welcome Emily Bright. Thank you, Mrs. Yeager. And it is true, we are stronger together. Every one of us makes a difference. I am Emily Bright. As a child in Illinois, I was so fortunate to hear the remarkable late Susan B. Anthony speak. Yes. Oh. Her powerful message of hope for women inspires me still. Yes. How I wish you all could have heard her. Oh, yes. It, yes. Was, yes. it was wonderful. During the recent Great War in France, President Wilson put our entire women's suffrage movement on hold across mm. the nation. He claimed it was unpatriotic. Oh, no. We had marched for peace and avoidance of war. We formed Mother's Day for peace. Mm. This certainly was not fair. When President Wilson declared war, he started arresting our peacemakers. No! This was not acceptable, and no, some of no. our brave young members began to protest in front of the White House. Yes. We had women during the Great War who worked on the front lines in France as nurses, ambulance drivers, wireless radio operators. Yes. We fought for democracy in the Great World War, only to come home to our country, where only half of our citizens have those democratic rights. Mm. The male half? No. no. No, we have to work harder. We have some of our young members 
working with a woman named Alice Paul in Washington, D.C. They are building a more powerful woman's association, the yes. National yes. Woman's Party. Yes. We yes. must push forward in our nation's yes. capital now. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. The National Woman's Party. I have a letter from Bertha Moeller, who is a Minnesota Swedish woman. Mm -hmm. She's working with Alice working in this um, push for more power. She sends a letter of the movement and what is happening in the nation's capital. And I would like to read that to you now. <laughs> Dear sisters in the movement, yes. I am working with Alice Paul, who is president of our new, more forceful party, the National Woman's Party in Washington, D.C. As you know, we have taken to the streets to protest. 168 of us were arrested for picketing. We were jailed for exercising our right of public assembly, which is our right in the Constitution. Oh, for shame. Perhaps you read in the paper that I was arrested 11 times in front of the White House. I was jailed twice. On one of those jail terms, I began a hunger strike, mm -hmm. like the brave women in London have been doing. Alice has been in many of those hunger strikes. We would rather die than be gagged and speechless. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The hunger strike finally brought attention to our cause in the newspapers. They couldn't let us die, so they began to force feed us. Oh, no. Oh, you my can't, my. You can't my imagine my. how terribly mm. painful that is. But worse, how humiliating mm. to be treated like farm animals. Mm. Finally, the big city newspapers have brought attention to our demands, and that has brought a giant step forward. Yes. Our pain has brought rewards. Congress has finally passed our constitutional amendment for suffrage. Yes. yes. 35 states have ratified or signed yes. this precious document, including Minnesota. Yes. Bravo. Bravo. That's worth applause. Yes. yes. But we are not finished yet. We still need one more state. Please help us. Sincerely, Bertha Moeller. Our thanks go to Bertha Muller for all of her sacrifices and yours as well, Mrs. Bright. So, one more state. Which one will it be? Will it be Tennessee? Will it be Connecticut? So, the way you can help us is, do you know anybody who lives in either Tennessee mm. or Connecticut? Mm. If you do, would you please write to them? Please. Ask them to pressure their legislatures mm -hmm. to approve the 19th Hear Amendment. Ye. Ye. Or go visit them, even better, and work mm -hmm. with the suffrage organizations in the towns of Tennessee. We have addresses for them. Just ask us. We can help you to find these places. <sighs> Let's take our struggle beyond the borders of Minnesota. It is time, and yes. we can do yes. this. Yes. And let's sing one last time together. Rise up, women, for the fight is hard and long. Rise